Yeah. It's just it's dolphin, dolphin porn. porn. <laughs> <laughs> and and it showed a picture of him coming on it. <laughs> what? Basically, because we get like 20 oh, Where's Dan? Yeah, what? Where's Dan? Because what? You hacked Dan? No, in ITU. No, he shares my account. He shares my account. ITU is like the easiest shoes to see, so you get the 20 minutes. No, sir, I told us to hack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah.
screen markers. Get on and do your work. Anna, Marcus, yeah. Kia, yeah. Oliver, yeah. Joe, yeah. Connor, yeah. Katie, yeah. Morgan, yeah. Bev. Yeah. Well, Is that not the total? Oh, okay then, I'll let you off. What's your name on it, Ben? Here on the queue. Connor? You did half of it?
we should be nearly finished. General, four questions. Okay, come on. It's four questions for you to do. Okay, so here we go. Um, I've got walk and car, boys, 12 and 6. So the total of both of those, 12 and 6, is 18. My girls is 19. 18 plus 19 is 20. 37. 6 plus 3 is 9. 12 plus 60 is 28. Okay, I've double checked it all. They all add up. Fantastic. Right, B, 60 plus something equals 25. The answer is 9. 9 plus 4 uh, gives me 13. 16 plus something gives me 4. Uh, 34. 18? 18 plus 4 is 22. 22 plus 25 is 47. 34 plus 13 is 47. Yep, yeah, double check for that. Great. Okay. And this one, I've got 9 plus 5 is 14. 5 plus 8 is 13. 3 plus 6 is 9. 9 plus 5 is 14 plus 3 is 17. 5 plus 8 is 19. Uh, 736. Okay. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Then the last one, uh, something plus 30 must equal 60. So I know that's definitely 30. 8 plus 4 is 12. 11 plus 4 is 15, which makes 30. So no, that's 15. Okay. Something plus 11 is 21, which is 10. I know that 10 plus 8 is 18 plus 1 is 12. 12 plus 15 is 22. Okay. No, it's not 22. Okay, so there we go. So there are my two main tables. What are we going to do now? We're going to do an example. So the title today. So if you could just draw a line under the work that you've done. Oh. And so just draw a line under the work that you've done. That's okay. And then can you put stem and leaf. 
So just put a, a line under the work that you've done and put stem and leaf as your new title. Okay? Is that leaf leaf? Is it leaf? Yeah, it's in leaves. Yeah. Leaf. Cool. Is it? Is that a leaf? Okay, so new title. So just go down the leaf diagram. New title, stem and leaf, it's over there. So, here we go. We're going to build a stem and leaf diagram. Can you, I'm going to do this example, I would like you to um, put in your books, I'd like you to put example, so can you put example, and then can you copy down all these numbers? So, 56. I'll do it with you on this board. 52. I'll record this. 82. 52. Okay? So here's my five. Imagine this is my tens columns for my 50. So there's my two. So that's my 52 done. Okay, what's the next smallest number? Ben? Seventy-six. 
And I think that's it for my 70s. And then for my 80s, I've got 81, 82, and 82. Okay, there we go. That is my stem and leaf diagram. So I've taken that data and I've made a stem and leaf diagram. That's how we do it. Okay, so this is how it should look. So you need to make sure, always, always, always write a key. Okay? Well, why would you forget? Pardon? Why would you forget you don't? If you forget, you just lose a mark. Okay, so can somebody tell me? I'm now going to ask you a few questions. Like an interview. Okay, Oliver, I'm reminding you. No, actually, I'm not reminding you. I'm recording it because your name's already on the board. Okay, speak out loud again. You're leaving my classroom. Right, so. Here we go. Um, Jess, if I pointed to the six, what does that number actually mean? This one here. 76. 76, brilliant. Kim, if I pointed to the seven here, what does that actually mean? 67. Brilliant. Sam, there's two? There's two. 82, brilliant. Ben, the six? Mm. Okay, fantastic. So hopefully everyone's got a bit of an understanding of what those mean. I put it on this board so we've always got an example on here. Right, what I would like you to do now is you've got questions one, you've got A, B, C. So A, B, C. I would like you to, for A, draw a stem and leaf, for B, draw a stem and leaf, and for C. Can you draw them where they're going to check them? Right, Oliver, what is the most, um, Oliver Matthews, what is the most important thing that we have to remember? A key, fantastic. So, make sure that you write a key on all of them. It can be the same key for all of them, just make sure you write it. That's right, A, B, C. Yeah, each time you do a question, so the first question is A, I want you to write your key and put it in a box. Yeah, do you have to do it in a graph like that? No, you don't have to do it this way, I've just done it this way so it's easy to do. Okay, you're going to write a key, and then you're going to draw your stem and leaf for me. Okay, each of those, and we're going to do this quietly. For the key, yeah. you got to make a key, yeah. Okay. So two slash five means twenty-five, or you could do five slash two means fifty-two, or four slash seven means forty-seven. Can it be any number? Yeah, as long as you so you put any number. So one slash four means. Forty. Yeah. So there you go. You've got A, B, and C to do. Off you go. Do one question you have at a time. Down the numbers. Write all the numbers down. Yeah, so you've got to write. So you've got to do A. You've got to write all the numbers down so that you can see them and cross them off. How do you get that right there? Though? What? Like, you know, like five, six, seven, eight. Where? You know, the five, the six, and seven, and eight. How do you get that? What, the five, the seven, the nine? So six, seven, eight, nine. Like the five, like here we have five, six, seven, eight, how do you get that? I don't understand. What do you mean? Come and show me. the board, Oh, this five, six, seven, eight. So the smallest number in here was like 52, and the highest number was 80, 82. So I know that the smallest one's got to be five, and the biggest one's got to be eight. Oh. Yeah? Sorry. I didn't understand what you meant by the thank you. So you've got to write them. And they've been really nice with this one. Thank you. Hello? Thank you. Yeah, you can use the same thing. They've been really nice on the first one. They've ordered it for you. Okay. On the first one they have, on the day they have. I can't just write out for my music. No, you have to write it out. Told you to work, so. yeah. Okay, hands up, is anybody struggling? Mm -hmm. 
If you are, just put your hand up, I'll come and help you. Four, five, six, seven, eight, I've run the first one. We're going to get used to drawing these because they will always ask. Always ask you to draw one.
focus your mind to. Just like to double check as well. You've done it right. Okay, just finish the one that you're on. Okay. Um, I'll give you time to come back and finish that later. So, I'm hoping not many people ask for help then. I'm assuming we're all happy. If you're not happy, you need to let me know. Make sure you've got a key. Like I said, it doesn't matter what the key is. So key 1, 4 means 14, or key 2, 3 means 23, 2, 5 means 20. You can write the same key for every single one. Doesn't matter, as long as you write a key. Do we understand? Good. Right, here we go. Um, I'd like you to copy out this example. Um, I just don't get why you can write anything in the key. Because, uh, so if you write key 2 5 means 25, yeah. you're showing that that 2 5 here, see, 2 1 means 21, there's the key. Okay. And so if someone looked at that, they'd be like, well, why is there a line there? Like, what does that mean, that 1? Maybe it just means 1. But it doesn't. What does that 1 mean? Oh, 21. Yes, yeah, so that's what the key tells oh, you. The key tells you what it means. Yeah? So what do we have to copy out? So I want you to copy out this bit here for me. Copy out that table and the keys, please. I'll do it on this board too. Am I allowed to start on your page? Yeah, you're allowed to start your page. Um, before you copy this out, sorry, can you make it big? Because we're going to do a lot of writing around it. Okay, so I want you to write, so do the key the normal size. So put key, two, one, means 21. And then I want you to write zero, one, two, three, five. What's wrong? Yeah. Let's do this example and then we can go, okay? Okay. So nice and make a few. Um, if you haven't done yours big, don't panic. We, you can just do it out, do it a couple of times if you don't you get confused. Right, so I'm going to explain some stuff for you. I'm going to explain some stuff to you. Okay. So, they've given us this, and we've got to find um, three things, okay? We've got to find the mode. Hands up, what does the mode mean? So we're going to find the mode. Okay, Oliver. Is it the most common number? Yeah. So A, the mode. I'm just going to put a little arrow, most common number. Sure, I don't know. Yep. Undo your thing. I know, but what the question's A, is the mode. Okay, so what is the most common number? Here. Two. Not two. Thirty two. So what does that mean? What does that two mean? Thirty two. So I've got thirty two. How many times have I got thirty two? Three times well done. So the answer is thirty two. Okay? So my mode of that data is thirty two. Right. Next. Um, I know it says the median, we're going to scrap that for a minute, we're going to do the range. Okay, hands up, what does the range mean again? Let's have hands up, what does the range mean? Ben? Um, is it the smallest one? The it's 
the biggest minus the smallest, but well done. At least we kind of know what it is, don't we? I'm sure if you did it, you'd do the biggest takeaway the smallest when you did it. What's the biggest number here? Sam? 32. 32. The biggest number here is this one here. 32. Okay, what's the smallest number here, Joe? Five. Yeah. Five. And what is 32 take away? Five. 20. 28. 28. 28. 27. 27. Well done. Oh. I don't want to have to chuck away these lovely colours. Right, now here's the next one. I'm just going to wait a minute because I need your attention <coughs> to this one. Okay. Hands up. What does the medium mean? What does it actually mean? What does the medium stand for? Marcus? Um, me, um, middle number. Yeah, the middle number. Okay. <coughs> so, this is how we find the middle number. On a stem and leaf. Now, watch carefully. I'm going to number them so you know which one I'm taking away first. So, that one, I'm going to cross out with that one. Because would you agree I've taken the biggest and the smallest and crossed them off? Yeah? Yeah. yeah. So, you know, if I had a line of numbers, <coughs> one, two, three, four, five, to find the middle, I'd do that, that, and then I know the middle's three. Yeah? But we can't write it out. We have to do it like this. So, I've done the biggest and then the smallest. Right, I'm then going to do... The second biggest, I'm just going to put a little two there, you don't have to write these numbers so you know. And the second smallest, okay? And then going to do the next biggest, and the next smallest is 12, isn't it? Okay. <coughs> and then going to do the next biggest, what is the next biggest, Connor? 29. Yeah, this one here. And the next smallest is this one. I'm just putting labels on so you know when I'm crossing, <coughs> which ones I'm crossing, but you don't have to write the numbers. Okay, what's the next biggest? 23. And the next smallest? 17. Okay. What's the next biggest? 21. And the smallest? Right, so that means this one here is the only one left. So this one is... My median, what does that zero actually mean though? 20. 20. So my median is 20. And I've done that by crossing off. Okay, you can see I've done the biggest and the smallest, and the next biggest and the next <coughs> smallest, the next biggest and the next smallest, next biggest and next smallest, okay? So I'm going to leave that there for you. And you're going to do an example, and then we're going to go through it to make sure that we are happy. What is wrong? I don't know. Okay. Right, so here I'm going to give you an example. So, your question is the same as the one before, but it's a different stem and leaf diagram, okay? So, I need to write my key. You need to copy the key and everything. Hello? Yes, yeah, you're going to copy what I wrote down.
office. Do the work. There you go, you've got to do the same questions that mode the range of median on that one, please. Same questions, mode the range and the medium.
highest number left that we haven't crossed off? Pardon? 20. This one means 29. And what's the lowest number that we haven't crossed off? Was that 12? Brilliant. Okay, what's the next highest number, Jess? 29. And the lowest? 13. Okay, the next highest number, Joe? 24. And the lowest? 15. And my middle one is that one, which is 21. Okay? There we go. If you haven't got these written down, I suggest you write them. Marcus, you've got all that written down. What, and you got it all right? <coughs> Did you do the mode, median, and range? Yeah. Did you get them right? Yeah, yeah then that's fine. You've got them all right. Okay, right, here's two questions for you. If you do question two, you want to find the median, the number of marks above 60, okay? So how many people got above 60? And the number of marks between 53 and 63. So B and C are slightly different. So can you copy that table and do that? And then we're going to pack away. Off you go. Can you do that, please? That's not always <coughs> Uh, yes, yeah, question two. We're just doing question two. Two oh, yeah. eight. Yeah, you're just doing question two. Shh. That's what the key does. Yeah. Always write the key, Oliver. Always. <laughs> 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 